For those of you that aren't familiar with Bold Betty's, we're a technology-enabled women's adventure platform. We make it easier for mainstream women to have adventurous experiences. In the outdoors, you get the opportunity to learn things about yourself that you might not learn sitting behind your desk or sitting at the bar, right? You get the opportunity to navigate uncertainty in unfamiliar situations. You get the opportunity to take calculated risks. You get the opportunity to see that you're capable of a lot more than you thought. It's kind of like being an entrepreneur. It wasn't an easy journey going from solopreneur to where we're at now. I made every mistake in the book uh, before Ending up with the team I have now, I went through four uh, potential co-founders and, and like I said, I made every mistake in the book and I learned a lot of lessons. So most of the lessons I've learned uh, all come down to self-awareness or awareness of some sort. The first one is know what you're building. The second one is know who you need to build what you're building. And the third one is know yourself. Um, first, know what you're building. You know, when I started out as a solopreneur, it wasn't because I thought, I can do this on my own. <laughs> Nobody's gonna help me, right? I got all I need. It was because I didn't know what I was building yet. I, I knew I was mission driven, I had a passion and I wanted to solve a problem. I didn't know what the solution to that problem looked like yet. So until you really know what it is you're building, you probably don't really know who it is that you need to bring on your team to help you build that. So really get to the point where you know what it is that you're building before you start looking at bringing a team on. Know what the goal is. You know, we've, we've heard some interesting stats tonight about the difference between solopreneurs and the small portion of women that are venture-backed companies um, and the relationship between the two of them. Well, being venture-backed is probably awesome. You could probably pay yourself a lot more. <laughs> but when did a measure of success become how much venture capital have you raised? Theranos raised 700 million. I don't think that's a successful company unless some miracle is gonna happen. But you know, maybe your goal is to become profitable. It doesn't necessarily have to be that your goal is to raise venture capital. So really know what you're building, know what that goal is and know what's gonna help get you there. Um, and know the people that, that are important and the skill sets that are important to getting there. The next lesson is really knowing and vetting the people that you contemplate bringing on as business partners. You can find the most awesome people, the most capable people, the most experienced people, but individuals who are awesome might not make an awesome team. Are they coming from a corporate environment and are they able to make the leap to a startup world? When you're contemplating these decisions, whether it's a hire or a co-founder, anything really that you wanna do with your business, if the feeling that you have is not yes, it's no. Motivations don't have to be aligned, they don't have to be the same, but they have to be balanced. Everybody on your team can't be motivated by ego. Everybody on your team can't be motivated by financial success. They need to be balanced. Um, and finally, what is the culture that you wanna build? Yes, it's great to have bodies, but bodies might not help you build the long-term company and culture that you want. So think about the impact that the earliest team members are going to have on the culture that you're building. And is that the right culture that you wanna build? Next, understand the team dynamics and how important that is to actually being successful. Like I said, you know, amazing individuals don't necessarily make amazing teams. So you really need to think about that team dynamic. So if I can encourage you to do anything, I encourage you to join Women Who Start Up because this is the community you need to help you navigate through those fuck ups and hopefully learn as much as you can as possible out of them and build a better and stronger company. We made every mistake possible, but we are stronger and healthier today than we have ever been.